Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, it's gonna be a little different than what I've been posting previously. So I'm actually gonna be doing, starting to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be posting truck rebuild videos, episodes, I'm gonna call them, of rebuilding my 2008 GMC Sierra. Um, because I'm gonna be doing a lot to it, and I thought I might as well make some content and throw it up on my YouTube channel, to see if some people enjoy it. If so, then I'll just continue making videos probably once a week or once every two weeks of truck updates and truck videos and stuff like that. I enjoy trucks, so I might as well do that. Um, but my main focus is still on the channel is posting stuff I do for Rogue. This is just gonna be some extra content when I have time. Damage here on this door. I pulled it out a lot already the other day before I realized how rusted it is from the inside. And then at that point, I decided it's really not worth fixing this door. And so I have a new one coming. Uh, well, a used door, but it's in like new condition. So that one is going to go on here. As you can see, there is also some damage here to the rear door. That one I'm willing to fix. And then I need to fix some damage on the rocker. Uh, I'll show you why I decided not to fix this door this stuff right here that just wouldn't have been fun and I would have spent way more time than it's worth on it so that's where that's at and then with the rocker I was thinking about replacing it too but then I talked to a body man and he said that he if it, I were him he would just pull it which I started, but then he told me a different method of pulling it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that method. But the reason I had started taking my whole interior apart, as you can tell, there's only half of the back seat and the driver's side front and center seat still in, is because I thought I was gonna replace this rocker. So I want to get everything out of the way. But while I'm at it, since I've already taken that all, all out, I'm gonna take the rest out and do the most thorough detail this truck has by far ever seen. So yeah, speaking of the most thorough, <laughs> apparently I can't speak, thorough detail this truck has ever seen, that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna rip apart, or rip, take everything out that's laying in here, um, take this center console and center seat out, um, driver's seat, back seat, and then I'm actually taking all of these um, hydro dipped parts out they're all getting thrown in the garbage and I have new ones that are coming that are factory but those are just gonna get painted color matched to the truck um, it's a much cleaner look just gloss white this this dash piece here will not be going like that it'll just be cluster or other cluster glove box and then the door handle pieces and stuff so just a little white accent on the lake. Front seat and the center console seat out now. So to get the front seat off, you got to nice take a little pick. Pop that cap off, preferably not dropping it on the ground. And then I think this is like an inverted hex Torx, or yeah, pretty much. Um, it's the size here, E18 for the front. It's nice. And then it's the same style for the back, it just it's the E16. And as you can see, obviously it'd be easier to get out if I move the seat forward, but that's the one there. So we're gonna go ahead and get both of these. It's just one there, one here. Also to take note, when you are taking seats out of a vehicle, any newer vehicle, I'd say like anything that has airbags pretty much, make sure to disconnect the battery before removing the seat because there is a possibility that if you have the battery connected and you start messing around with wires there, that airbag could go off. Same with, if you're gonna do what I'm gonna do, take apart the steering wheel to take these off. You wanna do the same thing. Disconnect the battery, just 
keep yourself on the safe side. Okay, so after you have all of that, un or all the bolts out, and you can take off of this guy here, and you can get at your seatbelt bolt, which I believe is a 42 Torx. Oh, actually, that's a little bit loose. Okay, should be a 50 then. So take that off. After you've got that off, you can pull it through here. You might have to take this guy off. You can pull it through. Also, to, in order to take this off, just take a pick. Go in there, get it under there, and just pull it, or twist it up. Just like that. There you go. Seatbelt's out. All right. So the wire I was talking about in the back is this one. It actually connects to the seat. So you just got to take that one out, set it aside, and then your seat is ready to come out. And if I'm right, if I am correct, now that both sides, the seat is out, the center console seat bolts on with them. As you can tell here, that is gross. Uh, that's what. It, that's why I'm taking this all apart, just to get it, get it all cleaned. Like going bonkers with this cleaning, <laughs> way over the top. Um, yeah, so now it should just lift up. I'm gonna set this down and we will find out if I'm right or not. Yep, there we go. Just a wire down. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. So yeah, it's just this one wire right here. Just push down, pull that out. And we're good to go. Slight chance I might have got carried away with this detail. Now I'm ripping apart my whole dash. <laughs> There's a reason behind this though. All of this hydro dipped stuff is all getting replaced. Um, I don't like that look anymore. So we're going to go back to just all white. Um, not everything, but some of it. So I'm ripping this apart now. And while I'm at it, I might as well detail everything inside there. All the vents, everything inside, inside the vents. If I'm going to do it, I might as well do it, right? <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> I need your opinion. Comment down below in the, you know, comment section. <laughs> Am I going too far with this detail job? Or would you also do this if you were restoring a newer truck? Or any vehicle for that matter? Would you go complete? Well, it's not a full restoration kind of thing. It's not a full restore. It's taking it and making it nice again. It's not a full restoration, but it's rebuilding. So let me know, would you guys go this far or would you guys just do a basic vacuum wipe down the basics that people do when they do a detail and call it good? Okay, as you can see, it is fully cleaned, vacuumed. Some stains were rubbed out, some I couldn't get out. So I'm thinking I'm actually gonna see if I can get someone over here to shampoo that before I put the seats in. If not, I'll just put them in and maybe get that done at a different time. Um, but that is it. That's it for today's video. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts down below. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.